Hello everyone and welcome to another News Coulomb video and another Ford Ranger electric update. You caught me here in the middle of uh, changing out the tires and while I still have the truck uh, jacked up a little bit, I wanted to introduce you to another component. It's called the Dedion uh, basically fake rear axle and it had some really uh, interesting design impacts for the Ford Ranger electric so I wanted to talk about them a little bit. So this Dedion false axle here, um, it basically, what it does is it allows them to mount the uh, motor on the frame and use these CV boots, right, uh, to uh, actually drive uh, the, the drive line and drive the hubs. And it frees up the axle to basically load all of the heavy weight. In fact, you can see here uh, the jack points are actually on the axle itself. And uh, so the motor is basically on the frame. Uh, this uh, Watts linkage here, uh, this is unique uh, to the uh, lead acid Ford Ranger. The uh, nickel metal hydride does not have that. It doesn't need the additional uh, suspension. As you can see, I'm going to have to end up replacing this too. All of this is just corroded and rusted. Uh, they ended up... Uh, they ended up uh, replacing out here the uh, the back a uh, leaf spring bracket just because of all the rust and uh, they they preserved the front one I think it's solid uh, but but I'll have to look at that as well but this is also unique to the uh, lead acid Ford Ranger electric it's a composite leaf spring now for the nickel metal hydride uh, they replaced that uh, with uh, the standard steel leaf springs. Uh, but but why this is so interesting, this Dedion axle, is uh, it allowed the Ford Ranger Electric to be a rear wheel drive. So whereas the uh, the actual uh, S10 EV, the Chevrolet S10 EV that was made at about the same time, it was actually a front wheel drive. And in fact, uh, this Ford Ranger Electric will likely be uh, the only rear wheel drive factory produced electric truck maybe until tesla releases their cyber truck the base version that's supposed to be uh, a rear wheel drive version now for those of you who know trucks you'll know why at the very least uh, rear wheel drive uh, is, is sort of the important thing right it's a big hurdle it's because when you have the rear drive that's where your payload goes and with those leaf springs and that solid uh, Dedion rear axle it actually increases uh, the load capacity of the truck and in fact to date this has one of the highest payload capacities this Ford Ranger electric has one of the highest payload capacities of any EV ever produced the NIM variant of the Ford Ranger electric has a payload capacity that's roughly the same as the current Tesla Model X and just slightly behind about 50 pounds of payload capacity behind uh, the current Audi e-tron so this ranks uh, basically among the highest in terms of overall payload capacity and it's thanks to the rear leaf springs and it's thanks to that uh, false solid axle otherwise you'd be running an independent rear suspension and it's much more difficult much more costly to provide that kind of payload capacity and having like I said this rear axle rear drive it really makes these trucks ideal for towing and large payload capacity basically these are really well designed for commercial vehicles they're not off-road vehicles because they don't have the second motor for a drive axle in the front uh, but you know for the purpose that these trucks serve this is actually really ideal and it's one of the reasons why I always valued these Ford Ranger electrics over the uh, Chevrolet S10 EV that came out at roughly the same time and used a front wheel drive configuration like the GM EV1. Now one thing I will note about this Dedion axle this is not how I would do it and Ford created a lot of complications. This is all sort of customized to make this truck work this way and allow the motor to sit in this sort of uh, transverse position and feed power to either side through those CV axles. Um, but like I said, this isn't how I would do it uh, if, if I were to design it over again. 
I would want a solid axle. I would want these leaf springs, again, because the purpose of a truck is really you're working. You want that extra payload capacity. You want the ability to carry heavy loads, and you want to be able to put a trailer on. I like the idea of having these leaf springs and a solid rear axle. So let me show you this truck's big brother. Now I wanted to come over here and show you the uh, F-150. Uh, this is actually the same generation as those Ford Rangers, basically starting in the late 90s, um, ending in the early 2000s. But this is a four-wheel drive uh, F-150. So it's a full-size truck, not like the compact mid-size truck that you would call the Ford Rangers. Uh, but I wanna take a look underneath. So now if you can see under here, um, you know, that little thing dangling there is the spare tire for those who don't know, but uh, you'll notice it, it has a very similar configuration. However, this solid axle has a differential at the front uh, and, and then just feeds just basically a very simple solid axle uh, to either side. Um, and that differential, it gets power from the main motor. My preference for an EV is actually to use something very similar to this and feed power into this differential uh, through a motor. Now, uh, one of the things is you see all of this space here, yeah, you would have to get rid of the spare in the back, but I would rather mount the motor between the frame back here, feed power into the differential uh, through a drive shaft, and basically you just flip this uh, sort of on the sagittal plane, if you will, uh, just rotate this basically all the way around and you can maintain a solid axle, bolt it to the frame and just feed power from a motor that sits behind the rear axle um, and then that's how you would power the rear axle. And here's an example of that uh, just basically U-joint that feeds into the differential uh, and yeah you could just basically feed power and that frees this entire undercarriage here uh, for batteries and uh, it's just a good way um, to maximize the space in a truck platform. Uh, you know, just giving another view from the top of the frame, you can just see basically all of that space available uh, that's currently taken up with things like exhaust systems and other components that are unique uh, to an internal combustion engine truck. So, uh, yeah, and that, yeah, just you dip down below and that's where uh, you have the differential and you have your drive shaft feeding into it. Well, so uh, I hope uh, you enjoyed that video. I hope you learned something new about this so sort of solid rear axle of the uh, Ford Ranger Electric and, you know, basically how it affects this vehicle and why it makes it, in my opinion, such an effective platform. Like I said, I think Ford maybe complicated things by making a custom to die on axle rather than leveraging the solid axles that they were already using. I'm sure they had their reasons for doing so, um, but I would have done it differently if I were say converting uh, a Ford Ranger electric that was originally gas. Um, I hope you found this video interesting. I hope you found it informative. I'd love to hear your thoughts on it, your take. Um, what do you think about some of the upcoming electric trucks? I'll probably have some more thoughts on those uh, in the near future. But if you enjoyed this video, uh, please like and subscribe. It really helps out the channel. And uh, thank you for watching.